I'm Tony Frazrand, and I'm in the offices of legendary horror movie director Wes Craven. Wes gave us A Nightmare on Elm Street, which was filmed right here in Hollywood. You know, Tinseltown has its share of spooky places to visit. Let's take a look. Why not take a walk in the footsteps of your favorite horror movie characters? The neighborhood and infamous house where Freddy Krueger of A Nightmare on Elm Street wreaked havoc is in the heart of Hollywood. It wasn't just the filmmakers of A Nightmare on Elm Street who recognized the horrifying potential of this neighborhood. You know the house that Michael Myers terrorized in Halloween? It's just a few blocks over. Now there's a block party I'm glad I didn't get invited to. So here I am at the house of horror movie and Halloween infamy. This house, where the movie Halloween was filmed, is only about 100 yards from the busy and famous Sunset Strip. But it's definitely on the A-list of scary places to see here in Hollywood. The Universal Studios backlot is also rumored to be haunted by the Phantom of the Opera actor, Lon Chaney, who is said to walk the catwalks of stage 28 in his cloak. Visit in late October when Universal Studios and CityWalk open at night. Fresh me! The backlot is transformed into a living horror film for Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. Even if there's a vacancy at Psycho's creepy Bates Motel on the Universal Studios backlot, you might want to stay at Hollywood's classic Roosevelt Hotel. It's said that Marilyn Monroe's ghost is sometimes seen in the full-length mirror that hung in room 1200, her favorite poolside suite. The Hollywood Forever Cemetery next to Paramount Studios is the final resting place of many celebrities, and some say they're ghosts as well. Visit in the summer and catch a free graveyard screening of classic movies amidst the Hollywood Forever tombstones. Whether it's celebrity cemeteries, houses from horror movies, back lots, or hotels, there's no shortage of places to visit in Tinseltown to supply thrills and chills.